Good morning, my friends. It's Thursday, February 14th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. Yes, I have my hair up. <laughs> and I am looking at a beautiful wall painting of an Ethiopian bishop, Bishop Kuros, the 10th or 11th centuries. Incredible to see the early church in Africa and these religious leaders holding the Bible, preaching the gospel. Here in America, we focus too often just on Eurocentric Christianity. There's a lot more Christians in the world. There are five times as many Anglicans in Nigeria as in the United States. Today this can be found in the Sudan National Museum in Khartoum. We are in Lent and we are looking now at Paul's letter to the Philippians. Paul says that he is trying to follow Christ, but he's never able to do so, but he's trying. And his citizenship as ours, as baptized Christians is in heaven. And Christ will come again and transform, he says, this body of humiliation into glory this body of humiliation into a body of glory. Sometimes I get overwhelmed by my own mistakes and particularly lately the news, the wars across the world, the hurt, the pain, the, the cyclical pattern of human history. We don't seem to really have progressed very far. We're still brutally killing one another and women and children in various parts of the globe. This is what would Paul would call the body of our humiliation. We cannot seem to make ourselves good. And so we look to our savior to help us with this. We set our sights upon the citizenship of heaven and ask for help from the one above because without God, we keep going around and around and around. And the body of our humiliation is a cyclical pattern that never ends. Violence and hatred and destruction again and again. We don't seem to really have progressed very far without God's help. Yes, we have technology, but we're still at war with ourselves. And so we look to our Savior to bring us that body of glory where we can cast aside our own way of doing things and look to something higher. And for that, we give thanks. I don't preach myself, Paul says, I preach Christ Jesus. I speak to God for that. Let us pray. Almighty God in lands all over the earth, such as Sudan and Congo, the Middle East, Ukraine. We see such violence. And now with the news, we see it close. And because of communication, it is really on our doorstep now. And yet we cannot seem to redeem ourselves cannot seem to rise above as a human race, our own proclivities for hatred, retaliation, revenge. We ask you this Lent to guide us on a journey towards looking to you for peace. With the bishops of old, with St. Paul, with Bishop Kuros, of Ethiopia, we ask that you would help us look to you for guidance, that we might find peace in your name, 
in the body of your glory. Comfort the sick, Lord Christ, and those who are dying and those who mourn, the hungry, the lonely, the afflicted and mentally ill, those who struggle with addiction, pain or physical ailments, those who have suffered trauma, rejection, isolation. We ask you to guide us as we seek peace across this earth and in our own hearts. We thank you for the faithful witnesses of old who guide us towards your light. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.